Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 18, Climbing the Ladder, our Football Manager 20 Journeyman save. It has been a long, long, long off-season, let me tell you. Uh, so we got a lot to cover today, a lot of things to go over. Uh, we are now in the Alaviskan, the top league in Sweden, so don't forget that. We got promoted last year. If you did not see how that happened, go check out the last episode, uh, the end of season last year. Oh, my God. Um, incredible. Incredible. Uh, so let's get into it. First off, we are going to look at the competition. We are going to look at the season preview. And things do not look good for old FK Carl Skrona. Uh, both us and Brahma Pajama, we are 1,000 to 1 to go down along with Hasselholm and Gothenburg. Uh, so things don't, you know, they're not expecting much out of us. Hammerby are expected to win the league this year. So that is, uh, you know, of course, Hammerby, I have a lot of memories of Hammerby. We dominated this league. Uh, I don't even remember if it was called the Alsvenskan when I played that because that was, I want to say it was FM 18, might have been 19. It, it was so long ago, <laughs> you know, it was at least a year. But anyway, um, so that's where we're at. Uh, let's take a quick look at the schedule. Uh, we started off with uh, Elsberg, 3-1. Uh, so that's kind of what we're getting into. They are our opening match this year. <coughs> it didn't go well. A lot of wins. Uh, we got into the cup. We beat Goats Gothenburg. 3-1, goals from Philip Lindbaum, Abrace, and Arturo Alonso. Then we lost 4-2 to, to North Coping. And then we beat uh, Gothenburg 2-1. Only one team went up in the out of the group stage. And we ended up with six points. Pretty respectable. But we were knocked out. North Coping winning all of their matches. They are uh, picked to finish second, by the way. So, again, top of the table, not quite competitive with them. Uh, Elfsburg mid-table, not quite competitive with them. So, you know, the goal is going to be to try to hang on. <laughs> That's going to be the goal. Well, we were the most busy team in the league. And where would I find that? I don't remember. Transfer center. I don't know. We had a lot. We had a lot. Uh, so we have two players that are going to be joining us in a couple of months, uh, mid-season for them. Uh, we'll look at them when they come on board. We are trying to get rid of Cavalli, but nobody will come in. He's valued at 4.8K. The board, we've, we had accepted a 2.5K, I think. The board rejected it and said the minimum they would allow would be 3,000. And nobody will come in at 3000 The highest bid we've gotten is 2700 So he's going to be on the club with us this year. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our transfer history. And let's see. Released players. All right. Jonathan Anderson, Bjori Carlson, and J Jacob Spenson all left on freeze. And... Very, very busy offseason. Very busy. Uh, we sold $22,500 worth of players, paid $36,000. Still a lot of freeze. Uh, so there were, like Hammerby made several million dollar moves. So money-wise, we're going to be struggling. But um, I'm not worried about the loans. Linus Gustafson, we brought him in last year. Remember, he was going to be one of those young guys I, I wanted to try at center back. Just, uh, he was not going to fit in this year. He goes to Starsnen in Iceland on a free. Uh, some loans. Max Berglund, uh, young player, 19 years old, goes to IS Holmia for $525. He was a future prospect. Didn't have the, you know, didn't have the pace kicking one-on-ones. I just didn't think he would ever develop. And uh, so, yeah, we let him go. Uh, a lot of loans, a lot of loans. Here's where we started making some money. So, uh, Willardson, he is the guy that we got on loan two years ago, helped us get out of League One. 
whatever it was called, the first league or whatever. Uh, went back to his team. We bought him last year. Then we upgraded, so he was our reserve. And then this year we you know, just moved him on. He wasn't going to be good enough to play for us. So he goes to Dundee, and it looks like he may have another deal lined up, eh? Uh, but we got 1900 for him. Ludwig Johansson, uh, he goes out for 1900 Not a bad center back, but he was not fitting in our plans. 30 years old, so we went ahead and put him out uh, to pasture. Cal Nyberg, he was a reserve for us. Never really fit in last year. In fact, he didn't even play for us. Uh, never mind. So he, he wasn't even a fringe player. Uh, so we picked him up on a free, sold him on for $1,300, made a little bit of money. Uh, $2,000 for Jimmy Hallquist. Again, uh, one of our starters, one of the guys that helped us over the you know two seasons. But again, five heading, six tackling. He just wasn't going to cut the mustard anymore. So uh, we sent him off. Uh, and Asan fo Football, I don't know where they're at. They're in, uh, they're in Norway. They're the ones that picked up most of our players. Uh, so they're going to be playing a, uh, an interesting uh, team this year with a lot of our guys. But he goes off for $2,000. Johan Nicholson, remember he was our number two, number three striker two years ago. Kind of slipped down the, a little bit last year. Still pretty good. But he just wasn't going to be in, in our mix. So we let him go uh, for $7,250. Tobias Hansen, uh, he, was a, he was a fringe player, 26 years old. Could play a lot of positions. Not horrible. Could probably do a job, but just he was so far down the pecking order, he would never play. And a lot of these were just cost-cutting moves. I was just trying to get salary off the books. He goes off for $375. Another backline player, Christopher Sundstrom, a left back, goes to Tishi for $750. Martin Johansson goes to Hassan for $1,800. He's a young backline player. We had just signed him on a free two years ago. Uh, he played, you know, he played mostly off the bench. He did start last year, uh, but he is uh, expendable this year. So off he goes, uh, loaned him out. I don't even recognize that name, so he must be 23. Oh, is this a guy? Oh, we signed him on a free this year, and then uh, thought, and then we upgraded on him, so I went ahead and moved him on. So we made $1,700 on him. Not a bad little you know, day trade, right? Uh, Joachim Nyborg uh, goes to Grotta for $1,400. Nyborg was a uh, left and right back uh, reserve for us the la you know, last year. So he moves on. Uh, Marius Kavarv. This is another guy. Uh, he plays all three back line positions. Pretty solid, poor heading. But I believe we signed. Yep, we signed him on a free uh, from Sandanes, and then we sold him for one point six. Again, got him, upgraded on him, made him expendable, moved him out. Uh, made a little bit of money. So we made almost four thousand dollars, three and a half thousand on those two guys. And George Gabandi uh, goes out on loan, young player. So who did we bring in? So naturally, of course, you can tell only one match today. Uh, we brought in Tim Pedersen. Uh, Pedersen, right winger. Uh, and then uh, he has gotten, he has not gotten hurt. He's, he's going to start for us because the guy that we replaced him with did get hurt. So he's going to be our starting right winger, and then he'll be coming off the bench after that. Uh, he comes from Geffel. Coming in from Malmo is Jonas Osterberg. Uh, he is a central mid. He can play right back, but he's going to be a central mid. He can play that playmaker uh, with the 12 passing, 9 first touch. Uh, so we'll see. He may not get a lot of game time. Uh, a lot of these were just upgrade moves. You know, going up, we've had two promotions in a row. So the guys that we've got on our team were just pretty, you know, pretty rough. Uh, Christian Magerson, oh, there he is, Brahma Pajama. We got him on a free and then turned around and moved him out uh, to TPS. Uh, Gustav Gustafsson, we got him on a free. Uh, that's our goalkeeper. He was on loan last year, started for us, got us promoted. We went ahead and signed him, and then we signed another keeper. <laughs> but that's what made... Um, 
uh, what was the other guy's name? Willardson. That's what made Willardson expendable. Uh, Joseph Ekstrom, he comes in on a free. Uh, left back, not much in the way of crossing, but solid defensively. So he's got some pace. So he's got some some skills to do a job. Uh, won't start probably. Ali Jacobson, he comes in on a free. Uh, just an, a well-rounded midfielder. Uh, he can play a defensive mid if we ever drop to one. Very good mentals. He just looks real solid. Uh, he's played in four matches in the cup, three off the bench. Uh, and I think that's what he's going to be his depth. Anders Dolk, he comes in on a free. Uh, looking at him to be uh, maybe our number two striker. Uh, he had one assist in uh, two games, playing a 6.85, solid finishing, good physicals. We'll see how he fits in. Uh, he, it's, he's either going to be our number two or number three. Uh, Jason Tarpey from Burton Albion for 1.9. Uh, he is a center back, uh, English, and again, we've noticed over the last few seasons, there's nobody in Sweden that knows how to head the ball. So he's got an eight heading plus solid defensive uh, concentration, determination, positioning, uh, the pace that we want at center back. Uh, so he's going to fit in. He's played three cup matches, uh, getting up to speed. Jonas Storbo, he comes in on a free as a free agent. He's also a center back. No pace, but again, good heading. So looking at him for some depth probably. Uh, Sebastian Anderson, he comes in on a free, a striker. Uh, he is 20, so he's youth for the future. Probably won't be with the team long. We may try to sell him down the road. Frederico Monari comes from Pondenone. For $7,000. This was the guy we splurged on. He plays all three. He's natural at all three. Not quite pacey, but solid marking, decent heading, good tackling, really good mentals. I said, you know what? He can maybe do the job. I paid him way too much. So that's going to be the part that makes him expendable because he's not going to start, but he'll be on the bench. He'll be playing all three positions. Uh, and that's what we'll be looking at for him. Uh, Johan Johansson, he comes in on a free as a free agent. Again, uh, central mid, uh, some potential. He's a player for the future probably to try to move. Uh, Karsten Like, 24,500. This was our big splurge. Uh, goalkeeper. Uh, so we're hoping... We're hoping he turns into what he said, what the coaches think he is. He's only 19 years old, Dane, uh, but he's played nine matches. He's allowed 12 goals, four clean sheets. So that means in one start and four reserves, he's allowed 12 goals. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, he has not impressed me so far. So the goalkeepers, the two goalkeepers will be battling it out, Gustafson and Likey. This was a guy we got as a free, and I think he's going to be pretty good. Karsten Bethke, he's a left winger. Uh, I think he's going to challenge. He started three cup matches. He had one assist. Very, very pacey. I think he's going to replace Thony on the left side is what I project for him. Uh, who else is down here? Uh, Marius Kavarv, we talked about him. We bought him in on a free, sold him out for a profit. Gel Salinas, he comes in on a free, 25-year-old uh, striker. This is the guy that I think is going to be our number two. Uh, Dolk was the guy I was looking at. This guy came up on our board and uh, very good finishing, first touch, dribbling, solid composure, solid decision-making, really good off the ball. I'm excited for him. Three goals in th and an assist in three starts, one reserve appearance. Uh, Matthias Dietert comes in from Lapnitz on a free. Uh, he is a center back, uh, 5'11", a little short, but he can still head the ball. Solid, you know, solid marking, and uh, he's played three cup matches. We've upgraded center back. I, it's still not great. I still think it's a weakness for the team. And then... We had, I was done. Wasn't going to make any more moves. You can see the gap here after January 21st. The guy we had that was going to be our starting right winger. 
got hurt and he's out for at least the first half of the season. So like four months, five months. Pedersen's gonna was there, but I was really thin and there was literally nobody. Nobody. They had guys from like the third division that were loan available and they just they were not gonna qualify. So we signed this guy. I overpaid. I had to. He's making forty eight thousand. I'm glad I got him rather than the other. There were only two guys that I could, that I, there were four guys. Two of them were from this first division in, in Sweden. We got this guy. The other guy wanted like night was on 92,000 a week. And I made the offer on him. This guy came in first and then the other guy refused us, but very good physicals crossing dribbling. So he is going to be our starter. I am pretty sure. Uh, he can play on the left, probably more inverted, but uh, glad to have him. Uh, let's see. We talked about schedule. Let's look at the medical center. So Gustafson, uh, broken lower leg. He's out two to four months. We did send him to a specialist. Uh, that was the guy that was going to be our starting right winger. And so, you know, we just needed somebody. Uh, Philip Lindbaum got hurt, but uh, he is back. Uh, 14 finishing, four goals, four appearances in the cup. He's He should paces again this year, be our leading goal scorer. Uh, by the way, if you're new, if you're just coming in because of new season, um, 23 and 30 last year and 5 and 14 the year before. And that was, you know, very short term. So he's been a goal scorer, and he's been really good for us. All right, what else do we want to look at? Uh, club info. So we did turn professional, so that's good. We're valued at two, almost two and a half million. Finances are secure. Uh, I tried to get training facilities improved, and they said no. We didn't have the uh, finances for it. We're projected 16th, which is dead last. So not happy about that. Uh, Club Vision, the board is very happy right now. We're a B. Uh, we're, we're on course to be within payroll. Fight bravely against relegation is all they want. And we passed the group stage because we were in the group stage of the cup. And I'm actually signed for one more year. So I got a two-year deal. So we're all right here. Yeah. That's a lot of information, so I apologize for that. But, you know, that's how it is here at the beginning of the season. All right, let's get to it. We are going to go uh, – we're playing Elfsburg today. I am not expecting a win here. Uh, we are on the road. We are underdogs. I am uh, – you know, we're already kind of in a defensive – so I'm gonna, we, we kept this tactic. I did play some of the other tactics from last year in the preseason – um, I was kind of interested in this one because it plays that lower line, but we're just not, well, you know what? Let me, let me tweak this a little bit because we did this with the other one, right? So let's put everybody into the same positions and just want you as a goalkeeper. You guys are fine. Does that improve mm, tempo, passing, directness? If we go there. All right. I think I'm going to just let them play around with that in practice. Let's keep that how it is, but let's go with this. Check our team. All right, so we're going to be have Lindbaum up top, Selenius. Uh, he is the 25-year-old Swede international, three under-21 caps. Still looking for his first goal, but three-and-a-half star. I think he's got some good skills. So we're going to go with him. Uh, Bethke on the left, uh, like Karsten Bethke. So he's going to replace uh, Thony. Is Thony even on the bench? Yes, he is. Bag Badge is on the bench. Alonzo Jacobson replaces Badge. Uh, so Ollie Jacobson replaces Badge in the central mid. I like Badge, though. Let's compare him real quick with Alonzo. Even. 
better passer, better technique. A little bit slower, but I don't really need him to do that, do I? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, guys. I want Badge in there. Badge and Jacobson. Uh, brought, brought Bruins. Michael brought Bruins. <laughs> That's going to be a rough one. Uh, Hallen on the left. Minari, new right fullback. Uh, Tarpy and Dieter, so a new central defender combination. And who do we go with here? Which one do we go with? Gustafson has the better shot stopping. Everything else is pretty even. Likey has better communication. I'm going to go with the shot stopping, being that everything else is relatively even. He's only 19. I think he's going to be much better, but he's he's looked shaky in the in the preseason in the in the friendlies. Oh my God! All right. Hopefully we don't get destroyed too bad. Remember we lost to him three one in a friendly. Uh, let's see. We're going to be passionate. Uh, give the fans. I have faith in you. Standard first game stuff, trying to get the green up. Uh, and you know what? Let's go balanced. All right, Hallen, deep throw into the box. Oh, a header just off the mark, just wide of the goal. Oh, we could have had a 1-0 advantage. Minari lumps it deep. Poor throw. No, oh, I thought our defender had it there. There's a through ball. Aronson into the box. Header. Gustafson with the save. Keeping us in it here in the early going. All right, he lumps it out. Bethke lays it off. Back to Badge. Oh, come on, Badge. Make me proud. Through ball. Brought Bruins. Oh, and it's saved. Knocked away. Sets up a corner. Look dangerous. Look dangerous. Pretty happy with that. Got well, some yellow stands in it. Brought Bruins looking for the header. Can't find it. Well, they just had the overlap. Yeah, he's open in the middle. Nobody's there. Oh, what a tackle. Jacobson, very nice defensive stop. Oh, we want a header, a defensive header. Holy cow. Oh, dangerous ball back to the keeper. Gustafson lumps it out over the attackers. Coming right back over the top. Vegaborn. Oh, and a save. Gustafson just tips it wide of the mark. Oof. A lot of act action here in the first 11 minutes. Brock Bruins controls the ball. Six shots. They're four for four on target. All right, let's tell them to get creative. All right, our front line's inspired. Tarpy's a little complacent. All right, they are focused. All right, let's tighten up. They're frustrated, but that's okay. I'm... Tighten up and let's get to half with a scoreless draw. I would be happy with that. All right, they've dominated us in shots. Shots on target, not good. All right. Um, they did do well. I think that was all we could expect in the first half. I'm going to up it to positive. We're not getting blown off the pitch, so let's let's be a little proactive. Oh, that was not good. All right, that one goes wide. We don't get to see that. Lindbaum takes the corner, curves it in. Cleared out Jacobson. Plays it back to the midfield. Minari. Oh, it's over the top. Sol Solarinus brought Bruins. Looks for a cross. It was right in there. Oh, there's a nice ball. Get there, get there. Oh, the rebound. Philip Lindbaum. Fourth goal of the season. First in the league. The other three came in the cup. <coughs> 
Oh, that was uh, the new new striker, Selenius. What a run to get to that. Bounced off the keeper, and Lindbaum just got a boot on it. Very nice goal. Liking that. Let's give him some praise. Brought Brooms. Controls it. Brings it up the field. Now, of course, so many new players. Oh, into the box. He crosses it. Laid off. Baj. Oh, almost. He was looking at that far post. Saved by Nikonen. Or Nikonen. Through ball. Nordgren. <sighs> Wide of the mark. Defense is looking. Defense is looking solid. All right. Befke. Good turn to Baj. Over the top, Selenius with the run. He's on a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, I was hoping it would dribble into that corner. Lindbaum, boy, if he could have been up there to make the tap in, would have been incredible. We are missing Thony for the corners. I guess that's just one of those things. All right, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Alexander Erickson gets the first goal. Oh, near post. You hate to see those go in. All right, a yellow card for... Let's go ahead and sub... Well, he's at 75. Actually, everybody's in good condition in, ma in match sharpness. Um, yeah, um, mid right, mid right. Where is, yeah, let's put Alonzo out there. Jacobson's playing a 6 4. Let's bring on Osterberg for his debut, league debut. I'll, I'll be happy to walk out of this with a. Let's praise him. I will be... Oh, no. Is that a straight red? That's just a yellow. All right. He thumped him, I guess. Oh, look at the through ball. Gustafson with the big save. That was huge. Oh, no. Come on. Erickson's second goal of the game. A header off of a corner. Are we going to struggle with that all season? All right. We need to go attacking. Let's go with a higher tempo. Kevin Hallen. Ekstrom. I'm going to bring Ekstrom on for Hallen. Give him his league debut. I remember Hallen played center back for us before. Nothing. Nope. Nickenin. Oh, pounced on Lindbaum. Look, come on. Come on. It's in there. Philip Lindbaum with his fifth. That's a brace for him today. Oh, what a great goal. Just slid it past the keeper. Oh, come on. Yes. Whew. That's huge. We got out shot, but we 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 held our own. Four chance four clear cut chances. Pa passing could be better. Headers could be better. Boy, boy, that is awesome. I I can be happy with that. Yes, we're going to go with the passionate great result. Nobody got red carded. That is incredible. That puts us into fifth to start the season with the draw. Oh, we're even ahead of Elfsberg and Hammerby. Take a picture of that. Put it in your scrapbook because it won't stay there for long. Osterberg with his debut. All right. Um, real quick. All right. 
How many matches do we play this year? 30 games. All right, so it's not it's not a huge lengthy season. And the good thing is, look at this. I mean, even if we get relegated, we get a million one six. But we really want to stay up because then we can, you know, then that's repeatable income every year, right? Oh, oh top five. Oh, that's just like, bing. Yeah. <laughs> um, or it's like Fluffy likes to say chocolate cake. Two million. Wow, that would be incredible. Uh, that would really help our finances. But we're making money. Here's the cool thing. So we're up to 1.46 on our payroll. We've signed coaches. Uh, everybody got pay raises from going up. So that that skyrocketed, but that's okay. But we we were actually making money. <laughs> you know, we actually made some made some money, and we didn't have anything put in by the club. I don't believe, and. Yeah, so no loans, nothing like that. So that's all good. So where do we come back? With only 30 games, I mean, one one video every six. That would be five videos a season. That would be 10 of 30 matches. If you think that's overkill, let me know, because you know, I've never really thought it out. But I would like to come back... Um, Let's come back for Hammerby and Brahma Pajama because they're a club that hopefully we're competitive with uh, because they were the ones that won promotion last year. So that's a club we're going to want to be, make sure we're tight with so we can fight them for relegation. After we do those, then maybe we come back uh, maybe end of May, somewhere around there, but... I'm thinking let's come back pretty quickly. Hammerby and Brahma Pajama. And I know it's Brahma Pushkarna, but Brahma Pajama. I've always liked that one. So, you know. But uh, yeah, so anyway, we'll see you guys here in uh, for next episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Or if you, know, if you just forgot, if you haven't done it yet, just consider hitting the subscribe button. And uh, don't forget, FM uh, Football Manager videos go up every day at uh, 1 p.m. Central Time U.S., which is 7 p.m. in London. I think you, I think London, I'm pretty sure London is six hours ahead of me. So uh, 1 p.m. my time, 7 p.m. in London, and then however that plays out for you on your location. Guys, have a good one, and we will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.